The Russell Historical Society presents the Dental Office of Dr. Philip Bradley Proudfoot. Dr. Proudfoot became the first resident dentist in Russell in 1904 and retired in 1949. His office was in his house at 75 Mill Street, which still exists today. His original fully equipped office was carefully moved from his home and reconstructed in the Keith Boyd Church Museum, shown here. The display includes a well-worn dental chair, dental tools, false teeth and casts, and equipment to produce false teeth, bridges and dentures. These artifacts are from the period of 1904 to the 1940s. Our prize artifact is the number four favorite Columbia dental chair. Produced between 1905 and 1925, it was the most functional dental chair of its time with a capacity for patients to recline flat. This is what it looked like brand new. Dental tools have not changed in design for the last 100 years, as you can recognize a dental mirror and dental filling placement instrument on the left. The item to the right is an air gun to blow saliva off teeth during surgery. To the left is a dental syringe to administer Novocaine, an anesthetic, and on the right, a mortar and pestle for mixing compounds. The next tools include dental drill bits known as burrs. The tool to the right is a tooth splitter to divide multi-rooted teeth prior to extraction. The gold bridge on the left is from 1949 and is composed of gold and silver alloy. The tool on the right is a dental clamp forceps and tooth clamp. There is a wooden case with narrow drawers containing crowns and false teeth. The wheel on the right is a false tooth color guide to match the color of false teeth with the teeth of a patient. Shown here on the left is a plaster of Paris mold and on the right are complete and partial denture plates made by Dr. Proudfoot. The equipment to the left is the NADCO Dental Vulcanizer Autoclave for making rubber or luxine false teeth, bridges and dentures. On the right is an acetylene tank and burner for making bridges and crowns. We hope this whets your interest in visiting our museum and we look forward to seeing you here in the future.